Scuba diving is a cool and funky and yet lazy sport, so it caters to both the young and the old. Many divers you'll find around the dive site have either seen too few or far too many dive seasons, and the ones that do have a few seasons under their belt tend to have a distinctive look or even a smell about them. While it's easy to spot a new diver with all their new shiny kit, an old school diver can be just as easy to spot if you know the telltale signs. And so, hi, I'm Mark from Simply Scuba, and here are eight ways to spot an old school diver. Number one, has cylinders older than you are? A good dive cylinder will last forever if you look after it, and it's not unusual when filling cylinders to see a manufacture date from back in the 80s. An old school diver's cylinder will have a range of hieroglyphics all around its shoulders. Hey guys, if you've seen Black Panther, then the shoulders of an old school diver's cylinder will look a lot like Killmonger's back, with years of scarring that tell you how many seasons they've been through. And bear in mind that cylinders in the UK only have to be tested every two and a half years. Number two, their gear is so faded. Remember the 80s? I don't. Pastel colors and purples were all the rage, and wetsuit styles match this cultural theme. If you step 30 years into the future and see a wetsuit that looks like it was styled from the opening of Saved by the Bell, then they're not wearing it ironically. It's just that old, and it's probably only one mil thick. Believe it or not, that BCD was black when they bought it, but now it's patchy shades of brown. But they have the mentality, if it ain't broke, don't fix it, or upgrade it to something lighter, better, or just this season's black. But it will show you the cool history of what the brand logo used to look like and what it evolved from. Number three. Logbook has a volume number on it. Before the invention of the digital world, you had to write down your dives by hand with a pen. No, not a stylus, an actual pen and paper, and old school divers love them. Just like a collection of encyclopedias or the Old Testament, old school divers will have a library of recorded dives that they often refer back to in their armchair in front of the fire with a faithful hound and a pipe. Children of old school divers will know the terror of bedtime, because rather than your favorite Cinderella story, I'm looking at you, James, you were read old dive logs to send you to sleep, which to be fair, didn't take that long. Number four, an old four x four with bad shocks. They've had this car ever since they started diving. Yes, it's old and rusty just like they are, and it does smell a bit funky, but just like their faded gear, if it ain't broke, then don't fix it. Old Faithful gets them to and from the dive site and to pick up their pension check, even if it does emit a black cloud and destroy the ozone layer every time you start it. Dive site car parks will be littered with these vintage automobiles. Think of it like a car show, but it's full of old retro cars, but not the nice kind like Goodwood Revival, more like Scrap Heap Challenge. So put down your vape pens and put away your fidget spinners, millennials, and be prepared to be offended by the emissions and noises from these old bangers and their cars too. Oh, <laughs> sick burn, sick burn. Number five, big expensive watch. You know you're in the presence of an old school diver when they're wearing their button up shirt, beige sweater, and a pair of jeans and a dated dive watch. They spent most of their money on this reliable timepiece back in the day before dive computers had even been invented. When they started diving, they had to count and guess when they could ascend. They didn't even fully understand the bends. They just went diving anyway. Then came the era of the first coal-powered dive computer, a hulking beast of a machine that needed good seals to keep the fire going. You had to stoke the fire with a special made manometer. <laughs> Number six talks about making their first dive gear. We're quite lucky today that you can just go to the store and pick up gear off the shelves. But back in their day, they had to make their own kit with what they had around them. It wouldn't be unusual for a diver to have dive kit assembled from an old road sign, propane tanks, and some plumbing parts borrowed from the kitchen sink. 
wetsuits were knitted. Just joking, uh, but not that much. Uh, they were hand cut and stitched from patterns yourself. But you had to be careful because if you pulled too hard when putting them on, then your entire suit would just tear apart like perforated paper. Number seven, multiple diving scars. A true old school diver has no new skin left. It's just one giant big scar all over their body because they used to touch things in the water. Remember the old stories of divers being attacked by sharks and octopus? Well, they were true stories. It wasn't a real dive unless you had to battle the underwater wildlife and get your foot stuck in a giant clam whilst you're running out of air. But now, after the treaty signed by the divers and the fish, we can all go diving safely, and we don't need to bring spear guns with us anymore. Let's tickle this shark, they'd say, and ride this sea turtle. They were always touching stuff in the water back in the day. Seriously, watch Silent World by Jacques Cousteau. That's just enough said. Let's have a picnic. Let's just sit on these sea turtles. They'll love that. Yeah. Number eight, we'll talk. Ow, bit my tongue. <laughs> ah, how did. Number eight, they will talk your ears off. Just like your granddad when you were a kid, but all of us divers look like kids to old school divers. You will always get a lecture about some dive story back in the day when it took two weeks to travel to Sham by boat around the Horn of Africa. Back in the day, reefs were so colourful, but you couldn't even see them for all the abundant fish life in the waters. So there was no other apparent method to see them, but to dynamite the fish to get them out of the way. It doesn't matter, there are plenty of more fish in the sea, right? It is cool to learn about how divers expanded our horizons with the limited gear, but sometimes all you want to do is jump in the water so that they can't talk anymore. Now, of course, we are only playing around and we are grateful for you pioneering this sport. But yeah, update your kit every now and then. And we probably have heard that story uh, before, to be honest. If you are interested in building your own kit or how dive gear has evolved over the generations, then check out Alex Pierce's vintage scuba series. It is pretty awesome uh, and he's a good laugh too. But how do you spot an old school diver in the wild? Let us know in the comments. Thanks for watching, guys, and safe diving. We are an online dive store serving the UK and the world for all your diving equipment needs. So why not visit us at simplyscuba.com or click the box on your screen.